I'll use my power to... I think I have enough for one more level up now. Let's just keep going with... Mm, motivity. Well, I'm in it to win it, I guess. Sure. Alright, let's go. The library's flooded. Can't be a good thing. Wait, so this side is just blocked off entirely? Plus the decay. Probably don't want to step in this for too long. Yeah. Okay. I still don't know what happened earlier when I activated something. Oh, he's so busy looking around. Wasn't even expecting people to be here. Is that black? Kind of look like cables. Tentacles? It's like a droplet of decay. I guess. Yes, charge attack! Yes, starting out a battle with charge attack ends it much quicker. Been forgetting about that. Maybe I should have put the P organ thing on the other thing. <laughs> it's just hanging off. I think I'm beyond the gate now. Yeah. No, oh, I didn't look at my upgrading my sword. That's okay. We're fine right now. This is why the cathedral was built and remembered. Pilgrims worship the merciful angel. The one-winged angel. This is a woman wearing a skirt. Oh no, is that a boss? Oh no, already? Oh, we still can't. We are slowly losing HP. Still more people here. Oh wow, the durability goes down like crazy. I didn't finish looking down here yet. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
We gotta be very wary about that then. Wow, my weapon just goes away so quickly. Is that a new dude? Okay. You're the only one here? for me <laughs> it dropped so much stuff it made me think that was probably supposed to go a little harder <laughs> okay I thought I saw oh yes there is something there how do I get there not from here do I drop from somewhere else I think we saw the boss room already earlier, but getting there might still be a bit of a problem. Oh, another? Wait, is this a shortcut or a... Or should I go that way? No, let's go that way first. I think it's the picking up the thing. Now we have to look up occasionally to find the... Make sure we don't have decay, decaying stuff just dropping on our heads. Here? Emergency protection. Thank you. Does this go back somewhere nice? Let me just check quickly. Goes up. Haven't changed my outfit for a while, by the way. I know we didn't get anything new, but. Crap, damn it! I can't find the way out. Monsters everywhere. I need to grab my share and leave. Hello? Friend or foe? Treasure hunter? <laughs> Wait. Uh, hold up, hold up. Hmm. <clears throat> you see nothing? I'm just gonna... Maybe join you a little bit. Oh, I never wear the masks. Mad Donkey's mask. The madman wanted to find the real truth. Blinded by his stubbornness, he failed to see the approach of death. Survivor's mask. Rookie stalkers usually wear the animal masks decided by superiors. Perhaps this was even what had blessed the youth's fate. Treasure Hunter's Mask. Uh. <clears throat> it's like I'm one of you. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god, we're the same. We're the exact same. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's odd. I thought I was the only one with a sound mind here. I'm sure I don't need to introduce myself. Note these golden wings. Yes, you guessed it. You don't know who I am. <laughs> Preposterous. Everyone in Krat has heard of me. Do you live under a rock? I'm Alidoro the Hound. Treasure hunter extraordinaire. Yes, yes oh. that's a nickname. I ditched my real name in the past. I'm looking for other... Survivors of this disaster, but it's uh, been a lonely search, and there's danger around every corner. Do you know of a place where I can take refuge? Preferably someplace clean and comfortable, you know, civilized. Uh... Vanini Works. Vanini Works? I didn't give that place much thought. That's where the puppets are being made, after all. But I heard tell of a shelter there as well. 
With no first-hand knowledge, I suppose I have to trust you. I have a lot of searching ahead of me, so why don't I lighten my load? Consider this an act of charity. A thank you gift. Take it. The Ergo is whispering. Um... I didn't want to tell him about the hotel because didn't... Didn't Geppetto or somebody say, hey, be careful about who you tell... Talk about the hotel to. And this guy's a stalker. I'm not just wearing... We're the exact same- Am I wearing your outfit directly? Like, is this your outfit? He didn't seem to acknowledge it, but- <laughs> Since you're so helpful, I'll give you a peek at my collection. Show me what you're worthy of. I don't know though, like if he's a good guy and I just kind of sent him- Vanini works is okay. I cleared out the worst already, so it's not the worst. About the collection. As a descendant of aristocrats, the very best families, I have a duty to the common people. I live my life fulfilling that duty. And part of that duty is ensuring these items are returned to their rightful owners. What I'm showing you is just a portion of the collection. If you come to the refuge, we'll be able to continue our confabulation. Until then, remember this hound when golden wings shine. Okay. Hmm. Rare ergo. Kill strong enemies to gain rare ergo. Alidoro is a treasure hunter who collects this rare ergo. You can exchange it for Alidoro's precious weapons or amulets. Okay. Oh! Oh, so this must be why... Oh, I can only get one or the other? Oh, what the heck? Hold up. Okay. Ah! This is the exact treasure hunter that they said might have been looking for this ergo in the descriptions. Holy Sword of Arc. I'm liking the look of the- there's great swords here. Interesting. But we- we only have one ergo. One unique ergo, so we either pick the weapon or we pick the amulet. Okay, let's- let's go one by one. Seven Coil Spring Sword. Motivity B, Technique C, Physical Attack 130 plus 76. So 130. I just need to look at 130, right? Because that's the one that's on the, um, the thing itself. I really wish... Okay, have I just not figured it out yet? But how do I compare it with what I'm... What am I, you know, using right now? Isn't there an easier way? Doesn't seem like it. A precious seven coil spring sword that was stored in the workshop tower. Even Geppetto could not replicate this fine masterpiece. Seven numbers on seven blades. The text that remained engraved on the Eastern Relic inspired the workshop technicians to make a masterpiece for this generation. Oh. This one's 140. Between these two, this one's better, attack-wise. But there could still be reasons why you would want a, a lower attack, because you might want the um, Fable Arts, for example. This looks really cool, though, my goodness. Etiquette. A sick. Motivity D, Technique A. A self-defense weapon adored by the leader of the bastards. It can be disguised as an umbrella, but it bears its teeth in the moment of attack. Social dignity can be seen not only in the ballroom, but also on the battlefield. The leader of the bastards did not lose its poise on either stage. Holy Sword of the Ark. Patient Smash Altar. Hmm. Transforms the length of the handle, Altar. After transforming, stamina consumption is reduced temporarily. Oh, interesting. A special greatsword that was lying asleep in the St. Frangelico Cathedral. It can transform between a special greatsword and a glaive. The Arc Saintess's weapon was reproduced for puppet use and it made a grand appearance at Krat events. However, its legendary holiness could not be reproduced. Dancing One's Amulet. Enables dodging even when low stamina. The best parade is never swayed by any obstruction. One must be prepared to make a great effort to put on a magnificent show. Extreme Modification. Increases weapon attack in proportion to the number of Fable slots. I can increase that with Peorgan but I didn't. 
The scrapped Watchman was an experimental piece modified to the extreme to test how far Krat's engineering skills could go. The result was impressive, but ultimately came at a cost. Conquering Amulet A pawn, a perfect guard, temporarily increases damage inflicted by weapon attack. Well, it's good if you do a lot of parrying. The puppet heads to the place where fire, electricity, and acid flow. It must not be withstood, but overcome and passed. My immediate thing is, I probably want a weapon over an amulet, but... It doesn't make sense to choose three weapons, I don't think. We probably want one weapon and then maybe some amulets. Um... But this is... Oh... Uh, this... I'm gonna hold off on this for now, okay? Like, I... Because... Because this is permanent, I'm suddenly like, oh, I'm really scared to... Accidentally make the wrong choice or whatever, but, um... Let me have a think about this first, I'll explore the rest of this place, and... Wait. But I told you to go to Vanini Works, so you might not be... <laughs> you might not be here anymore the next time I come back? We'll have to go to Vanini Works to find you? Mmm... Let me check my own weapon first. Oh, hey, look though! My greatsword, the default attack is 157, so whatever I can buy... Well, it's because I got the plus 3 on it, right? That's probably part of why, but... Okay, that means in terms of attack... Yeah, maybe it's not that big of a difference then. Just more about trying new things. Okay, I'll definitely buy something later, but uh, I... I will defer for the time being, okay? Just a little bit scary. If I use the Ergo, it's gone forever. I'll be back. And I'm, I'm done with the... Um, the mask now. Usually I want to see Pinocchio's pretty little face. <laughs> Where? Costume. But we can have the treasure hunter outfit. Sure. Now where were we? Right, we were gonna go up here. Probably if we manage to reach the boss, I'll think about getting a new weapon again, but mm, we should practice more before fighting the boss. Practice more with the current weapon, I mean. But we'll see. Archbishop's Diary. Unknown date. Cecil's unwell again. Today, the Adams brothers found her standing like one of the dead at the edge of a cliff and brought her back. If it's mild sleepwalking, it's fine, but I'm worried it's her old blood compulsiveness again. What? I know about her strong beliefs better than anyone else, so it's really too bad. God will be glad with the atoned. Perhaps I should ask her for atonement for visiting the Isle of Alchemists. Blood compulsiveness? I have their relic in my hand, thanks to Cecil. I won't let those bastards ruin Krat anymore. This will purify the city. Maybe it was a mistake to accept those guys from the beginning. This disaster was divine judgment. They should have been turned away all those 30 years ago. The alchemists? But this will be the end. Krat is a city blessed by God, and I, Andreas, will come to its rescue. The journal is badly torn. Why? Me? This guy thinks that the alchemists... The alchemists messing with stuff might be the reason for why there's a purification disease right now. It haunts me when I see that they're still wearing skirts, when they're, st when they're still wearing jackets. Because that's how you know there was a person here before. Oh! Ow! Ow! Archbishop's Holy Mark. Oh, this is his quarters. We can go back to Cecil. Workshop Union Strengthening Frame. Last frame item made by the Workshop Union. When the handcrafting workshop came out with a better item, the workshop union gave up its development. It's better in every way, but heavy. It's heavier. Hmm. 
At this rate, I'll never get to try out the, the wrench. <laughs> Not a huge deal, but I would like to try something out. Okay. I hope that wasn't the Archbishop then. No wonder we're wearing a skirt. I don't think the Archbishop was a woman. Or they could have been really open about dressing in this kind of place. Possibly. Same deal here. That's not even water then, what is it? It's completely getting purified in one go. It's not water. Here, we can go back to Cecil. But we, hold on. Is there a way to lift up the gate? If so, we should do that first. Oh, we're already at the boss, aren't we? Oh god, okay. Resplendent ergo. Mmm, there's a- ch wait, 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 what? Oh, okay. I was looking for a lever and I was like, hey, where's the lever? It's just a chain. Here we go. I'm not gonna use the Stargazer yet. Let's keep looking around. Oh, thank you. Just seeing the Archbishop's holy mark renews my spirit. It's a reminder of the quiet power of faith. I'll remember this forever, Stalker. I just get a resistance ampule for it? Really? That's it? It's a reminder of the quiet. Okay. Sounds good to me. Let me continue looking. I think we're here already. Yeah. Oh. And sing praise for a new saint has arrived. I, Saint Andreas, will... Consecrate this land. There's only one here. Well, in that case, we- okay. I thought there might have been more people here to kill. We're already here, but I didn't find the golden tree yet. Am I supposed to have? I'm trying to think if there was any place I missed. We didn't find the trinity key either. Well, let's just see how it goes then, okay? Yeah, we'll just go and check it out and hopefully it's not gonna be too horrible. Who am I getting? This is probably gonna be horrible. All right. Let's see what this guy's made up first. Is it the Archbishop? Oh, I, I forgot about you. Oh, you're a person! Centipede? You. Is it the Archbishop then? He was all like, why me? Oh. Well, this disease can make people... This is not human anymore. In any sense of the word.
fallen archbishop. Okay, calm down. He's not giving me very much room, though. That I don't like. The decay? We can't let it build up. Okay, he attacks more than once. We can't just... See, I keep attacking after that one, I gotta wait more. Lamberg is gone. Oh my god. It's not that easy, right? Yeah, that was probably way too easy. I didn't think that was it. <laughs> For a second, I thought maybe... <gasps> but no. Phase two! Oh man, this is gonna suck. It's just teeth! Oh. This is not human anymore. You speak English! Oh, bad. I can't even hit him. Oh, where is he, dude? I'm surprised we can understand him. I think I'm just gonna get whittled down, because I... I'm just gonna get whittled down here. Yeah. Um, this preliminarily, it looks like the second stage is a, a faster, a little bit more advanced version of the first phase. So if we, if we learn it well, if we learn it better, I think it'll be okay. Unless if there's a phase 3, in which case I'm just probably screwed entirely. <laughs> Need to avoid that. Wait, do I have to... Oh! Wait, 
Wait, you can attack this guy from the back or the front? Seems very susceptible to fire. Oh, man. Getting a little bit better at parrying him. The tongue goes both sides. And then he swings again. Again. I... Hmm. Okay, I actually brought this little fire dagger with me. I don't know if it'll help, because the range is really short on this thing. Three hits. Three hits on this one. Well, getting to the second stage is not a problem, but we have to reserve enough potions and stuff to defeat the next part. Oh, do we have to skip the cutscene every time? Okay. Big sweeps. Can I just hit your body? got both sides. This thing has two sides. It's not just one. And this side is very similar to the previous side, isn't it? Move away from the hit, the vertical hit. Whoa, 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 what's happening? Oh, he drops that. Oh! Oh! I had more health there, but I, I didn't pay attention to my own health. Hits, three hits. He's very weak against fire. But I have to calm down.
おー The backside is easier, I think. Camera, what's the camera doing? Oh, oh, I gotta go here. Oh, 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 that's it. Oh, where are you going? Who is that? And now, the stage is set. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that was something intended? Um... That was... Simple. I want to go back to the old Krat. The old me. Before the green overtook me. Oh, Bishop. Mm, so we, we killed this monster and then what was happening? The soul went somewhere, which seemed to be exactly what somebody wanted. That's not good. Um, I... Aside, I'm a bit in shock right now because that... I was expecting to be here for like... An hour at least, but that took like 50 minutes. That was um that was really fast. Yeah, so in the beginning I started out with a great sword, but then as soon as I realized that fire seemed to work better, I tried switching to the dagger here. And then I guess it just kinda worked out. Huh. Help that my Legion arm was also fire related. I was a little bit worried about the reach of this dagger, but yeah, it seemed like it worked out fine. I even tried doing some strange combinations here, actually. Like I tried doing, because I like the great sword so much, I tried doing salamander blade plus great sword handle, but that actually made it even worse because it looks like yeah, the handle, the handle controls the speed of the weapon, which means if I try doing it like this, it takes away why this dagger was so good to begin with. The fact that it's very fast, right? But now it's extremely slow. And then when I realized that, I went back to the dagger and... Yeah. It feels like figuring out the weaknesses of these guys is more important than having a high DPS weapon. Because, yeah, the, the dagger... I'm still... <laughs> I don't want to sound like I'm bragging or anything like that, okay? It's just that I, I, I didn't expect this to be so fast. I spent more time playing around with a weapon than I did actually fighting him, I think. On hindsight, I think the Scrapped Watchman one, why I was so tired was probably because the walking distance from the Stargazer to the boss door was actually a little bit lengthy with people in between. Whereas for this one, and also the previous one, the walk was easier, which definitely made it feel better at least. Okay. Well... I still feel like the, the dagger is good situationally, but I don't know if I want to have it on me all the time. I'll... Oh. I have my greatsword disassembled right now. Let me just reassemble it again, because I was messing around earlier. 
I was thinking we might we might have to buy one of those weapons from that hunter guy too, but I guess not yet. Yeah, my salamander dagger is not even upgraded. This guy was really weak towards fire. Hmm. Huh. Did I did I make it? I might have just X'd out without doing it. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. Yep. Thank you. And then the dagger can go back to being a dagger. Thank you very much. And for the time being, we can have both of them on us. I thought we might be able to get away with it not being too heavy, but we're still slightly heavy like this. I don't know. I like the reach. I like the reach of the greatsword for sure. With the salamander. I'll walk around like this for a little while, maybe. Hmm. Seems to be working out fine for me, so... Why change what's working, right? Well, now that we're we're done this. Hmm. Is that it for this room? I guess so. Not much else happening here. We probably want to go back to the hotel soonish then. Right now? Should we continue a little bit more? I don't even know where this is going now. I'm still a little bit in a daze over how fast that was. Yeah, that was like weirdly fast. What in Crot's name happened here? Oh, I haven't a clue myself. There's got to be someone at the hotel who knows something. Wait. There's stuff there. <laughs> it was fast enough to the point that I felt like I don't feel accomplished doing it. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's how bad it is. Some mixed feelings. I know I said I don't want to waste time practicing bosses, but... <laughs> oh, it's weird how that works out, huh? Probably time to turn the lamp back on. So we don't really know what happened at the hotel here. I'm just gonna assume some flavor of petrification disease. Path of the Pilgrim. That's it? That's all I've got? Maybe I will use a dagger a little bit more, huh? Oh, wow, even animals! Gotta say, the dagger is very fast. That's a bear trap if I ever saw one. Not touching that. Okay. One at a time, friends. Oh, the dagger is so nice and fast, it can hit multiple people at the same time. Once, Krat was just a small town on the coast of little importance. Before Elysian Boulevard was built, this place literally was all there was of Krat. But when some in the city prospered, they they left the old town behind. Through isolation and neglect, Krat's first incarnation became nothing but dangerous alleys and desperate slums. On the bright side, I guess, the whole city of Krat's pretty much like that now. The old town caught up with the new. It's true what they say. A receding tide sinks all boats. Growing pains of a city industrializing and all that. What is this? You cannot use this right now. Okay. Come back later. A child who was a blessing to their family lies here. May he rest in peace. Got a smiling bunny mask. A mark carved with a smiling bunny. It was left in the graveyard of the Malum district tomb slums. The smiling bunny is a well-known sign of the stalkers. It is said to serve as a sort of pass in certain areas. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Malum district tomb slums? Mmm, we probably should have gone back to the hotel at the previous Stargazer. I will at the next one. Which is right here. 
I gotta go back and tell Daddy about what happened here, right? That, uh, I may or may not have killed the person you told me to rescue. But only because he didn't seem rescuable anymore, okay? Not because I wanted to kill him. We didn't finish off everything at the cathedral yet, though. What was that about the looking for the gold, gold fruit coin, whatever thing, and then the Trinity key? I must have missed an opportunity to get the Trinity key somewhere, I guess. Could it be forward and then we go back? I, I guess that's possible. I don't know. Not sure either way. Yeah, we have stuff. Ooh. Oh, there's pe wait, there's something more in the cathedral. There's a record. Oh, maybe if I go back to Cecil? Okay, sure. She's still here. Hmm? Cecil's written confession, divine service. Thank you for your kindness. I'm a sinner who murdered innocent people in the past. I couldn't suppress the monster in me. Only the Archbishop saved me. Yeah, there was something weird about her. They talked about her blood urges and all that. Of course, he was a human who makes mistakes. Even saints succumb to wealth and power. But at least I can live as myself, and that's a huge blessing. So yes, I believe that he was a saint. Now you open the second path. Thank you for letting me live as a human, not a monster. Farewell. Well, why? Are you just saying you metaphorically couldn't suppress a monster in you, or are you saying you actually are some kind of a beast? Divine service. It's slowly turning redder and redder. It must be evidence of the rose-colored love. You will whisper again soon. For God. For your beloved. Divine service for any affair. We will listen to that when we go back to the hotel. Hmm, trying to think of the, if there's any other places that we missed around here. Not that I can remember, but I'm sure we'll come back though. Yeah, we have to come back for the Trinity Room. And then, that is the, the hunter guy. Oh my god, he really went to the workshop? Well, it's not super safe there, but it's not super horrible. Oh, hey! Uh, I'm a oh, uh, I don't have a mask on. Oh, well. <laughs> Hi. You? I didn't think we'd ever meet again. Can't say I'm happy to see you, though. <clears throat> Sorry, I let my frustration get the better of me. This place is crawling with hostile puppets. You must have known that, but you still sent me here. No! Honor and trust are everything to this hound. You've insulted me to the core. I'll never forgive you. <gasps> but perhaps there's a shred of decency in you? So I'll ask again. Do you know of a safe place? Um, I... I feel like I'm being really mean if I... Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> nice try, but I've been <laughs> there already and I know better. The puppets have already destroyed that place. <sighs> Again, you spurn my trust. But even a brave soul like me cannot afford another enemy in times like these. I shall show you mercy. Perhaps it will inspire a nobler spirit in you. But beware, do not fool me ever again. Okay, sorry about that. The Ergo was whispering. Yeah, cuz uh, I... Just based on what our conversation was like, I feel like I would have liked to tell him the hotel was safe. And he seems like a decent enough guy, especially since he sells me stuff and I feel like I probably don't want him to die because of that. It seems the hotel is the only other option. Yeah. But then... I was thinking about the truth versus lie thing. Because every time we lie, we get a bit more human. And is that something we want for now? And, you know, hello, this is lies of P. This is not truths of P. So, yeah. You tricked me with your lie. 
You disappoint me. I'm sorry. But I'm no stranger to beneficence, so I shall let it pass one more time. Know that even my forgiveness has its limits. Remember, the hound's fangs crave the traitor's neck. I, I will never lie to you ever again. Thank you. But do you want to sell, sell me stuff? You tricked me with your luck. But I'm... Mm. Are you are you going to the hotel next time? Maybe I'll see you there. That would actually be really convenient. Because I can just buy your stuff at the hotel. Okay. Going on a bit of a wild goose chase here. Anything else? Doesn't seem like it. I'm back, everybody. How are y'all doing? Where is the kitty? Nowhere to be found. The cathedral. It seems nowhere is safe now. Maybe those who went there seeking refuge became monsters somehow. But the petrification disease turns you to stone, not into a monster. Right. I'm worried about the Malam district, just below the cathedral. I wonder whether there are monsters there, too. So you're directly saying to me that petrification is not the same as what we're seeing here. That's what I wondered about. Petrification means stone. But if you remember that lady that we gave the baby puppet to back in the, um, in the very beginning, and then there was a sign that said, warning, quarantine zone, petrification disease, and next to it, actually, we can look at it right here. We have that note still, right? By the way, still have no idea what these gestures are, just for role-playing or something. Yeah. Prayer! Pray. Prayers for God, mourning for the departed. Whatever they are, they're not emotions ordinary puppets could feel. Now, there was a particular... doodle... that we found. It itches. Peel the skin and there's blue blood. Blood, blood. So I, because we found this note outside of the quarantine zone for the petrification disease, I thought this meant the petrification disease. But this seems more like the monster thing. It's a little bit different. Apparently. Okay. Save my ergo for now. Oh, we should play the, the record? Divine service. For God, for your beloved. We'll walk around at the same time. Welcome to Hotel Prat. I didn't buy the apple yet. Should I buy it? Sure. Hmm. If I'm gonna be using the dagger, it might be nice to just upgrade it with these hidden moonstones. Upgrade special weapon blade up to plus three. What are special weapons? The blind butterfly desperately sought a savior, clutching a moonstone. It was as if it wanted this world at least to survive. Hmm. Leave it alone for now. How are you, lady? People have no idea so many secrets a buried in crowd. Thanks for keeping me company. Nothing. I guess only my father has new stuff to say. That book reminds me. Have you ever heard the fairy... Yes, yes. You guys are still doing alright over there? I've been investigating the puppet frenzy and... It looks like I need your help. First, let me show you a little something I've been working on. I call it the Ergo Wavelength Decoder. Mm, the name lacks a certain flair, but I assure you it works. If my suspicions are correct... Oh my god. ...something <laughs> the puppet's very Ergo is causing their aggression. My decoder can find malicious signals within the waves, but I cannot possibly get close enough to gather the Ergo Wave records myself. You, on the other hand, would you? Could you? 
I... I refuse to believe the King of Puppets is truly behind this... this puppet rampage. It's too simple, but also a bit too much even for him. No. I suspect the Ergo itself is corrupted, or at least compromised. I do so desperately want to find the cause, as I'm sure you do too, my friend. It breaks my heart to see puppets turned into murderous tools of bloodshed. I'll help you if you stop putting all of your subtitles, like five lines in one subtitle, okay? That is not even a subtitle anymore at this point. That, that's a paragraph. <laughs> oh, I'm a huge stickler for stuff like that. That really irks me when I see it. What? Oh, oh no no, the, the Ergo is whispering. Ah, uh, because of the record. I was like, did I just get Ergo whispering because I was looking at the apple? Ergo Wavelength Decoder. An Ergo Wavelength Decoder left by Vanini. This device finds errors in the Grand Covenant imprinted on the puppets. Vanini decided to analyze the puppets' Ergo Wavelengths to determine the cause of the puppet frenzy. You should be able to collect quite a number of records while getting rid of the puppets all over Krat. Anything I have to do? Do I just have this on me? It's a collectible. The, for the whistle, I can use it. But I can't use that decoder. I can't use anything here besides for the whistle. Okay. I always welcome friends. May I be of service? I'm good for now. Thank you, I think. Didn't actually expect you to have something for me. At the house of Vanini, even priceless things have a price. Every item is a treasure of distinguished quality and superior provenance. Request appraisal of collectibles. Wow, but that's that's like a dead kid's last item. We want. <laughs> do we really want to sell that? Smiling bunny, Mark. Mark. Oh dear. This is the mark of the Black Rabbit Brotherhood, a notorious band of stalkers. Oh. The stalkers as a unified force ceased to be after their defeat at the Battle of the Workshop Tower. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood took over the Marlon District after that. I believe you could use this mark to move safely whilst on the Black Rabbit Brotherhood's turf. Oh. To use their unsophisticated vernacular and give you entree to the black market as well. But be careful, sir. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood is quite infamous for how they treat interlopers. If they catch you, they'll put you in the liar's coffin. Yes, I believe it is as unpleasant as it sounds. Ah, and I see we have new physical records to catalogue for the collection. Such effort deserves commensurate reward, don't you think? If you believe so. Oh, thank you. Very kind of you. At the house of Vanini, even mm. priceless things. I think I'm good. I could probably use some of these cranks too. Although, again, my general philosophy is we haven't hit a wall yet. When we hit a wall, that's when I'm encouraged to explore beyond what I've been doing. If I don't hit that wall, I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. <laughs> Okay. Eugenie, haven't talked to you in a while. How are you? You know that stalker, the hound? I is it true you brought him here? Um. Wow. Yeah. I, I didn't know he was still alive. Thank heavens. I haven't seen him in person, and I don't know how I'd react. How do you oh. think the man who saved your life? <laughs> I'm so glad that someone so kind has reached safety. Okay. <laughs> I'm speaking of safety. Please, take care of yourself out there. Sorry, I kind of messed with him a little bit. He almost didn't make it here. He's the one who saved your life. He's a good guy. You're not the only one who's curious. Most people get around to asking where I'm from. My looks give it away, don't they? Suffice it to say, I'm from the country of the morning, beyond the ocean. But I wouldn't be much of a tour guide. All I know about it is their weapons. 
My family was a house of weapon specialists. It's quite a reputation to live up to. They almost took charge of planning for the grand exhibition. The grand exhibition. But that's their reputation, not mine. And they deserted me when I was little. Oh. I don't even know who they are. And my reputation is my own. I suppose my only connection to them would be weapons. So I'm an orphan, and that hardly makes me exotic and crot. Can I help you with anything else? Did you grow up just by yourself then? How did that work? Sorry to hear that, that sounds like a rough life. But hey, I'm not even real, I'm just a puppet, so... You have it a little bit better than me, I suppose. We can be friends. Yeah, doesn't matter what you are, where you're from, all that. Should I be upgrading my weapons? I, know my way around a weapon. I don't know. I just feel like I'm sticking to the same stuff again and again. <laughs> it works though. I so saw I can upgrade the electric coil and the salam. Okay. Puppets are weak against electricity. Our human monsters seem to be weak against fire. So I feel like these two weapons are still gonna be stuff I have on me for a while. Unless if we find something that also has elementals. That's why they give you the grindstone. The grindstone does electricity and fire. But yeah, in the beginning of that Archbishop fight, I tried using the fire grinder on the great sword, but it didn't work as well as just using the dagger, really. Because it's not forever, right? Hmm. If I'm gonna be using the dagger for now, I guess I'll upgrade it. Why not? It's not exactly expensive. And we can buy stuff. We'll just keep it like that for now. But again, the thing about the daggers is that, um... The... let's see... Motivity C. Technique... No, Motivity is D right now, it's horrible. Advance. Advance is B. Does advance mean elemental? It seemed to be the same stat for the coil. I can give you a Motivity crank. Make you a little bit less crappy. I'm good for now. I'm good. Yeah. Let's talk to... Talk to my dad. And... Is the hound already here somewhere? Did you make it back before me? I don't know. Oh, hey! Mm, you're gonna run away, aren't you? I'd rather just look at you nicely here. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> Why? Why must they keep doing this to me? Father? I'm a good boy. I did the thing with the stuff. And I kind of killed your friend. A victim of the petrification disease turned into a monster. That's just tragic. Could the disease lead to puppet frenzy? <laughs> no, that doesn't make sense. Remember, puppets cannot get the disease. But puppets shouldn't frenzy either. I made them to obey and protect humans, not go berserk and harm them. But the stalkers blame me. They think I worked with the alchemists to spread the disease to puppets. <sighs> How sad. All this resentment, with a lie at the root of it. That's why my only wish is that you stay a good boy. No resentment. No lies. Oh. Yes, father. I will not lie. The city of Krat. Is my nose getting any longer? It's nope. probably <laughs> not how you remember it, eh? Ask me any questions. So the cathedral. I had hoped for good news. But everyone's dead. How terrible. I remember the Archbishop fondly. To think he became such a monster. Even the puppet frenzy isn't as shocking as that. You think it's the water? 
Thinking about the city's pipes, they connect to the Malum district. Their water supply might be tainted too. Water. Hmm. Oh, by the way, you said that you in the very beginning of this conversation, you said that petrification disease led to people being a monster. Is that just that's just what we think, right? We don't know for sure. And then how does this all relate back to the puppet frenzy? Not clear yet. I don't know what's happening in the Malam district. Yeah. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood seized the neighborhood. That's all I know. It was always a run-down neighborhood, but it's descended into anarchy, or worse. I'm hearing rumors of monsters rampaging through the district. Those poor people. They need your help, son. Yeah. I have the mark, which means I can probably go in and maybe not get attacked, hopefully. I don't believe we have any quartz at the moment, right? We don't need to be here. Okay. Is the hound somewhere around here? I would really love to talk to you again. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were... You were the person who saved you, Jenny. Kinda made your life a bit of a living hell. No. Yeah, I see. So the, the ledges that are broken here are supposed to be ways for us to um, break it. Anyone else around here? Is the hound here? If not, I'm gonna get going. Oh yeah, this this dagger. I oh I can't switch weapons right now. It's not ideal. Between technique and motivity. But it's not good for either though. It's D and C. It's just kinda crappy overall. <laughs> People want it for the elemental, I guess. Hey, hey, there you are. Oh, it's you. This hotel is indeed a refuge from the dangers of the outside world. I am the Hound. A descendant of the city's most aristocratic families, repaying debts is what we nobles do. Betrayal creates a debt that is particularly hard to pay back. Sorry. But I am a man with generosity and mercy in abundance. I shall give you the honor of viewing my treasure so that you may apologize. However, you must prove your worthiness. For this legendary treasure, mm, the ergo of a powerful enemy shall suffice. It's up to you if you want to make the exchange. Take your time to admire it. I've certainly done likewise. Thank you, you're very kind. You're very kind. Oh yeah, now that we got a new thing, that means we have a new weapon. Trident of the Covenant. Blunt weapon, motivity C, technique B. Damage reduction while guarding. Link rush stab. Guard parry, time the enemy's attack correctly to deflect it and trigger a powerful attack. Powerful attack? A ritual trident that was lying asleep in the relic of Trismegistus. It is presumed to have once belonged to a great warrior who served an ancient king. The warrior of the sea vowed to protect the people from the cursed relic. He kept his vow, even when his skin was mashed until it was green. Hmm. I want to try some of these. I kind of want to try this one. Because it looks cool, and it sounds cool. Do we want to? No backsies. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. So the, the other thing I can get with the Ergo is Conquering Amulet. Which means if I perfect guard, if I parry, then it increases the attack. That's pretty cool, too. That in itself is pretty cool. Dodging with low stamina. Nameless One's amulet has a chance of none being consumed when using pulse cells. <gasps> wow. But that's so chance-based, it feels like... Mm, if we do get out of a pinch, it'll be luck. It's not skill. But I feel like, you know, to, to clear, to defeat obstacles, you need a little bit of both. You need skill, you need luck. So, sure, that's fair. 
There was a time when even puppets were treated as heroes in Krat. This amulet is a vestige of a fireman puppet who was called a hero. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh my god, okay. Let's try to get this. Really? So if I... If I look at it here, hold up. Compared to my greatsword... Oh! I just realized, based on the picture here, these ones are disassemblable, this one isn't? Cannot disassemble. Oh... Interesting. The charging pulse cell rate is a little lower. Damage reduction while guarding. But can we upgrade it though? Is this considered a special weapon then? That we can use the, the Crescent stuff to upgrade? Maybe. Let's check with you, Jenny. I know my way around a weapon. Upgrade? Dark Moonstone of the Covenant. Dark Moon Moonstone of the Covenant. And that's um hmm. Oh, this change it quite a bit, doesn't it? Hold up. 170 plus 30. Right. It'll be higher damage than the greatsword I've been using. Okay. We can get more, but let me just try it out first. Let me use it, make sure it's actually any good. I wish there was a way to try stuff out before buying it. I'm just so... So worried about permanently losing something all the time. Feels like my old sword. Which is a good thing, because I like how it feels. I don't mind it. It's just that for the past two bosses, they haven't been great because it doesn't have an elemental on it. What about the... So the Fable art. It's a slash? Wait. I'm using the freaking... This is the exact same sword I was using before. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. This is better now, though. This is better. Oh, yes, yes. Ooh, all right, all right. Now we're talking. Oh, no, no, we should do it on this one. Oh, it's very heavy. Heavier than my great sword of fate. Hmm. Oh, we charged it into a mega strike. Wow. No, 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 I want to try the L1. The... Oh! Oh, whoa, the reach is crazy on this! It changed... Oh, this is Alter, right? Oh, wow! What the heck? That's nuts! How far is the reach? And how long can we sustain this form for? Wow, does it last until we change it back? On purpose? That's so nice! That's crazy! Well, maybe it's only lasting forever because right now in the practice place, the fable is infinite. Oh, this is really sweet. I want to try it out. Cool. My arm's green. Alright. Oh, you don't want to grind stuff here? Sure, fair enough. Um... Yeah, okay, let's let's level up. You're full of surprises. A puppet that keeps changing, keeps growing. I can feel a change in your ergo. Change is never easy. Look at me. A human trapped in the shackles of the past. I wish I was back in Krat before the petrification disease, before the disaster. Krat was a city of light, a city of joy. I wish I could go back, even just for one day. I don't think that would be considered being trapped in the past. Everyone's longing for the days when things were better. That's very normal. 
is uh, the present looks pretty bleak right now, especially. Ooh, I see, I see. My, I'm slightly heavy right now. What's the percentage for me to not be slightly heavy? Is it like 60 or so? Oh, I don't want to put so much into capacity. Because it's kind of useless overall, right? Hmm. Let's see if I can live like this. 72. It's starting to get more and more expensive to use Ergo. I will... Yeah. There's gotta be a way to do this quicker. Just mass do this. Why isn't there? That's not enough. I don't have enough. Okay. We'll just keep going for now. Sure. Close your eyes. Come to me. Feel alright. Just dance with me all. Oh. 